welcome to the part that most people skip, including me. I'm backlit today. Hi. So I'm going to be painting for a month. Ah! Painting is so fucking hard. It's just so fucking hard. You're going to see me struggle throughout the entire video and you're going to look at my trash paintings. You're going to cringe a little, but I feel like I do improve along the way. So stay with me. Bear with me. Ugh. And it's not going to be linear because every time I paint, it's going to be when I have my days off and that's about twice a week. So this video is going to take so fucking long to film. Yeah. Okay, okay, I'm done stalling. Let's just get into it. I'm starting off with a strawberry. It's really fun to do all the highlights and stuff. It does feel like the more I work on it, the worse it looks. I mean, you can tell I'm a beginner. I'm gonna be linking all the painting videos in the description, just all the tutorials, in case you wanna try them out too. I'm gonna be painting a lot of grapes in this video. <laughs> I like the way these grapes looked. They kinda look like um, colorful balloons, and you can see my dog jump scared me right there, so bumped. I'm scared to paint this drawing. This just took so fucking long. Oh, I'm scared of ruining it, but I'm starting by putting all the like the light sources. And on day three, I'm doing this little cloud acrylic painting with waves. And then I started on another painting, just painting the sky. Sometimes like in between paintings, I have to go back and forth. I don't know, I sometimes I need like a break from other paintings. It's just ugh. Staring at the same painting that you're like making it look worse kind of makes me like ugh. I work at Ulta and the other day was so funny. There was a mom and, a, and her teen boy trying out perfume and she was like, you should just put the perfume sample in your underwear drawer. That's what I do. And when I walk away, he's like, what is your problem? I also remember uh, well, around the holidays, this son was using his mom's account <laughs> And he was buying something for her and he uses like eight dollars worth of her points. You can tell how fucking bad this watercolor paper is. Just look at it. It's like the paper is like coming off when I put too much water. It's just so bad. I know you're like just fucking get some more watercolor paper. But the thing with me is like when I'm learning something I try to buy like the cheapest of the cheap crap so that, you know, like, as I use up the products, as they get better, I reward myself buying, like, better and better supplies. It kind of, like, motivates me to get better at it, to keep practicing. While trying to follow this tutorial was kind of difficult because it felt like they were going back and forth of lightening stuff and then making it dark again and then, like, fixing it and then lightening it. I was like, ah! I'm just gonna copy the picture, I guess. I just skipped to the end. I don't know, maybe I'm at the point where I can start copying photos. Mm, I don't know, I'm gonna keep with my tutorials, but I did kind of like how this one came out. It's kind of cute, not gonna lie. Jackie Liu's channel has been inspiring me. All of her paintings are beautiful and realistic and she has like poetry all throughout the video. I do compare myself to younger creators and people that are just amazing at painting. It's like don't compare yourself because you have your own vision of the paintings you want to create, style, stuff that you want to paint that they're not doing. You have your, your own unique perspective that no one else has. Do you see this paint I'm using? Ooh. I'm always the type to start a painting but never finish it, like once it gets hard. What I like to do is take a break on that painting. If it's feeling like there's no hope, I'll start another painting. So then when I get the satisfaction of that one, then I'm kind of like powered to finish the first one. This one kind of turned out a little bit weird. I don't know, I mean, I like 
I like that I finished it. It just looks kind of strange. Like the values are not like all the way correct. The way this is turning out is so ugly. Like, do you see this? All the colors are bleeding together. I'm just gonna burn it. Oh my god, I'm just so fucking done with it. There's no saving that can be done here. It's just so painful. Like, when you spend hours on a painting that just looks like shit. I do feel like I see my growth in every one of the days. Especially, like, when I paint the same thing, like a portrait. I do actually see the progress in my work, and that's that's enough to get me to keep going. And then I painted this cute little cow that my best friend Haley wanted me to paint. It was really cute. Then I painted, like, some random crap. Actually, you know what? Just disregard all that. It's ugly. This is such a cute little painting. It's kind of like a break from all the difficult painting I've been doing for this one. I don't know, sometimes I'm just like, well, fuck it. I'm just gonna use regular paper rather than watercolor paper because I don't want to get a whole ass, like, book. This one was supposed to be a gift, but, like, the way it turned out, I was like, oh, I don't know. I feel like that would be, like, a little bit rude. So I actually went to Fred Meyer and I bought myself actual decent watercolor paper because I was finished with all the garbage watercolor paper that was like tearing a hole. I don't know, I just realized I don't hate myself. <laughs> I'm just gonna buy something that actually works. Some of these tutorials I'm actually doing well on. Some of them I need to skip to the end because they'll just be going back and forth, fixing something and making it lighter, making it darker, repainting the whole thing. I mean, that's for some tutorials. Some of them I'm like kind of good at, but a lot of the times when I just skip to the end and I copy the picture, the painting actually turns out to be better than it would if I just followed the tutorial. I've been procrastinating this painting for so long, just trying to make it look fucking perfect. And I'm just like, I don't care. I don't care if the reflection of the water looks like it's actually reflecting what it's reflecting. I don't care. I'm just gonna finish this. I'm just so tired of looking at it. And the end result, like, wasn't that bad. Like, it wasn't perfect, obviously, but, like, it was kind of cute. This painting is so hard with the purples and the yellows. Like, when I blend it together, it makes brown if I mix it too much. So I just, I just blend it in with my finger. I guess what I'm learning is the classic phrase, trust the process, because oh my god, these paintings will look like fucking garbage until the end once I do like all the finishing details and the highlights and everything, and once I go back and like fix it after I watch the tutorial, it actually doesn't turn out looking that bad. My end goal is to paint on clothes, so honestly, a lot of this feels like a fucking chore. I don't really enjoy painting, if I'm being honest. I'm kind of comparing it to the metaphor of like when my boyfriend was trying to get me to roller, like to learn how to roller skate and I fucking hated it until I kind of practiced more and then I actually realized that it was kind of fun. So I guess I'm kind of trying to do the same thing. I feel like when you're good at something, you can enjoy it more. This tutorial was about like five minutes. And I just do not have the patience for like 20 minute tutorials because then I'm just staring at the same thing for so fucking long. It's especially since I'm like really slow at painting, like I'll have to pause it, paint, catch up. Oh my god, I just can't handle it. So that's why I did like a literal five minute tutorial. I wonder if I'm at the level where I can just copy the picture? I don't know, let's see how this turns out. This one was actually pretty like fun to film. I don't honestly remember the last time I've been excited to paint until now, because all the tutorials on YouTube, they just weren't what exactly what I wanted to paint. So I just scrolled on my Pinterest and I found this one and this one was really fun to paint. For the rest of these, I decided I just wanted to copy the picture because I was like, damn, I guess I'm at the level where I can. This makes it kind of fun. 
For this one, I didn't have like an accurate like hot pink, so it kind of didn't turn out exactly what I wanted. It was kind of confusing because the colors didn't look like the picture. I think I'm gonna focus on quality more than quantity because for this day, I did two paintings and they both were kind of like, yeah, you know, like good, but not great. I think I'm just gonna focus on doing like one good painting each day. For this one, who's trying hard not to make it look like a smurf, since it's kind of weird how like the blue reflects on her skin to make it look like she do almost doesn't even have like the color of skin. Okay, first I have to get my peeling magic foot socks on. Literally takes an hour and 30 minutes. For this painting, like it looks simple, but it's actually not. It's actually pretty hard. This took me like all day to just do this one painting. I do like the end result though. This is what the selection of Target looks like. So I drove into stressful traffic, looking for like a parking spot for a while to go to this art store. And they have like a, an amazing selection. I was able to get the hot pink that I wanted, a little skin tone and a detail brush. But for these, I'm just painting what I would like to paint on my clothes. Here's some reference photos that I wanna do. So this bowl of fruit definitely took me all day. First I start out by doing the base layers and then I do the, fr the, the, the fruit that's furthest to the back and then I kind of work myself to the front. This one is like actually like my favorite, like my favorite painting that I've ever done. Like, I don't know, like I feel like I'm actually improving. The panic of being on the wrong freeway with 19 minutes left to go and 13% left on your phone. The oranges were looking so bad. But I feel like improvement is not linear. So as I do, I was just started working on the other painting. I'm just finishing what I did yesterday. I kind of gave up on working on the wine glass. I was like, Ugh, just fuck it, it's good enough. Oh my god. I didn't do much painting today since I did have a job interview at Whole Foods. Oh my god, I'm finally fucking finished! Oh my god! Sorry, headphone users. I'm just, oh my god, I fucking finished. I fucking finished. Oh, thank you for sticking through this with me. Oh my god. Oh, Some days I'm just like, fuck, I want to give up. But I did it! I fucking didn't. I went... I kept... Moving through, even though like, oh, there's some paintings that I worked hours on and they ended up looking like fucking garbage. But then I improved. Let me just show up a little, little picture where I improved. I thought things were fucked, but they weren't. And I, oh, I pulled through. I pulled through. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for believing in me. Well, maybe you didn't. <laughs> At the beginning, you were probably like, wow, this might be a lost cause. I might just click off, but you kept watching. So thank you. Oh, thank you.